Hello guys, welcome to this updated video this evening. I hope you're doing amazing today. It is the start of the new work week and we've got quite a bit of action in parts of the Caribbean. In many places, there's been a lot of heavy rainfall, some flooding rains as well, definitely uh, have taken place today. And uh, in addition to that, we have our disturbance in Vest 90L. I talked about it yesterday. Last night, the chance went up substantially, and even this morning as well, 70% formation chance. But since the latest update, that has decreased because now the system is uh, it's seeming like it's given in to the unfavorability within the environment. So we're going to be talking about that as well. And let's go into it. I'll keep this video as brief as possible. So let's go. Okay, and here we have the satellite imagery. We have four tropical waves across the North Atlantic basin, and they're definitely helping to influence quite a bit of rainfall, especially in the Caribbean. So two are in the Caribbean right now, another is approaching the Caribbean, and that'll uh, result in quite a bit of convection, as we can see within the vicinity of Northern South America, more so the Guyanas. So this is a look at the surface chart showing the axes of the tropical waves. Additionally, so as we take a closer look here, we can definitely see all of this activity moving into parts of northern south america trinidad especially there's been quite a bit of rain across some areas and then for sections of the lesser well other sections of the lesser antilles especially the leeward Isles, we can see that it is a pretty active evening with some overcast conditions maybe some downpours in a few spots uh, thunderstorms popping up across a few spots in Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, Cuba, and much of Jamaica. Many places have experienced some heavy rainfall today and some flooding has taken place as well as I mentioned. Within the vicinity of the Cayman Islands, there's a bit of action, nothing too crazy, but uh, some thunderstorms have definitely been nearby. And then towards Central America, it gets even more active as we can see a lot more going on within that general area. And then near the vicinity of the ABC Islands, there's definitely been some showers and thunderstorms around as well. Not a whole lot going on up to the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands. Now, as we briefly look at that disturbance, so as I mentioned, the formation chance, it has been decreasing because the system is not uh, showing those trends towards development. Matter of fact, this morning, it just needed a bit more uh, concentrated shower and thunderstorm activity to reach the threshold, potentially being considered as a depression or a storm, but it has failed to do so. So it was in code red, now back to code orange, 60-60 chance of seeing development. So I expect this to continually decrease, and I'm personally no longer expecting that the system will make it to tropical cyclone status. So we're still waiting on Andrea. Not a bad thing, but usually by this point in the hurricane season, we would have had our first storm. But it is a slow start to the season, which is pretty good because it, enable, uh, it enables many countries to have more time to get those preparations underway for the season. And also a slow start doesn't mean that it will be in an active hurricane season because there have been quite a few seasons in the past even 2004 i believe they had a uh, that season had a pretty late start and yet it went to produce very dangerous hurricanes such as ivan and uh even Jean, for example so there were some very deadly hurricanes that season so slow start doesn't equal that there will be nothing much happening this hurricane season time will tell but i'm also here to tell you guys about what is going on in the realm of weather as necessary and then in terms of all that moisture across the caribbean guys this is a look at the rain forecast we can see that this map is pretty colorful as well so many of the aforementioned areas that are currently or uh, that have experienced a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity today those will likely be some uh, some of the same spots experiencing a similar uh, kind of activity as we head into tomorrow, especially the afternoon hours. So we're talking about our greater Antilles going towards uh, Central America, Northern South America. Uh, maybe within the vicinity of the ABC Islands, there could be a bit more heavy rain. And in the event of all that heavy rain, guys, please stay safe and do not take any unnecessary risk so this is something that i always emphasize and uh another thing i always say is that we don't need something to be classified as a depression storm or hurricane for there to be dangerous impacts these tropical waves 
can do that. So they can just be moving by and can result in periods of strong winds, a lot of heavy flood trigger and rainfall. And then in turn, that leads to some level of damage. So guys, please stay safe and I'll be keeping you posted on what's going on as necessary. So that is it for right now. I do hope you found this uh, video to be quite informative. If you have any questions, though, feel free to drop them in the comments. I'll get to you when I can. And remember to always be weatherwise.